Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna tell you how we got to today, right now. Jeez, it's so cold. <laughs> I hate to moan about the weather, man, but oh my god, I was in shorts last week and now it's snowing every day. It's like, what's the temp? 4.5C. That's cold! But anyway, we need to actually go to work first today. Uh, I don't think they're going to be that impressed with how I'm dressed, but oh well. And uh, then we can go on, uh, and crack on. I'm really excited for this. Uh, and let's go check out an old friend too. Bigger beard now. It's getting it trimmed this week, but you know, we've got to keep on keep looking smart. Smart, you know how it is. Anyway, we're gonna try and get to a lot of car events this year, and I've had a little downtime, worked out which ones we want to get to. Anyway, let's get to work. Let's get the boring bit out of the way. Right, I have come down back to Violent D that you will have seen in the last video that I uploaded before my little break, and I'm here to annoy Craig. Hello, sir. Man. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks for having me back. I know you're mid working on the cars that's in right. here. No um, we'll have a little chat after I've fitted the tyres on, if that's all right, oh, and uh, no problem, show man. people what you've been up to and that, and then uh, I'll get out of your air because it is a working day. So I do apologise <laughs> no for problem, coming mate. down no and crashing the party. No worries. <laughs> have tires on some wheels Craig man thank you so much for no getting problem. these on because at one point we thought we might not but you might <laughs> no, see no his problem. beards kind of half it was earlier yeah but, um, some unconventional methods we used <laughs> but That's I wasn't going to put them on the on the YouTube because I don't want anyone to copy what we just did but regardless they're on how's things been dude good man yeah really good yeah, yeah business yeah, good fun. Pretty busy getting ready for drift land in a couple of weeks. Awesome, Three man. Three weeks we're up at drift land, so yeah. We're awesome. Gonna... And you're going to have a word with the boys you're going with to see if I can come down with my cameras to their unit one day, maybe? Yeah, mate, yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're all uh, six, nine outdoors. Yeah, yeah. Them before. All the time, yeah. Time Clacton, so yeah, go and uh, hit them up and I'm sure they'll show you around the car collection. Can't wait to see it. Craig has saved me today, so <laughs> Violent D, thank you so much, dude. No problem, man. I'll get these in the, uh, in the whip back home and then we as a team, you can see what the car's gonna look like on its new wheels, and I can tell you all about why I've got these, who they're from, why I picked these tires, because you'll have seen what tires are running, and uh, yeah, then I can tell you some news about the Civic too. Let's go. And uh, hopefully you just enjoyed seeing what the Civic looks like on its number one set of wheels. The Volt T37s to me are the GOAT. You can't get better than Volk T37s in my opinion. I feel like the car has its perfect form at the moment and I don't really want to change that if I'm honest. But I do want to start using it more. Although it sounds like it's running a bit funny. So I think I need to have a look at that before I do this track day this month. Uh, down here and get stuck in on it and try and figure some stuff out but uh i want to start using it and also with the world and the way the weather is at the minute i don't really trust the car in the wet i run really expensive sticky dry track tires um, and i'm sure once these get heat in them then uh they, they're fantastic in the wet maybe i don't know someone can tell me down below but from what i found out on the track days i don't really get enough heat in them in the cycles of laps that i'm doing so 
I, I was looking around and I reached out to a few people and Motegi Wheels reached out to me and they said, look, we've got this set, we think they look awesome on your car, do you fancy fitting them? So we've had to do some bits to the car recently and uh, now we're at the point where we can. So I've gone and opted for Rain Royale Rain Sport 5s. Uh, they've got fairly good reviews, especially in the wet and the damp, which is where they'll mainly see the track. And uh, I'll be honest, I just couldn't afford another set of T37. So I looked around at brands that were affordable for everybody, not just the people with the higher end budgets. And uh, they had to be good. They had to be, uh, they had to be good. They had to be strong, light. And uh, I know they're not as light as the Volks, but they're still good for what they are. So. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get working on it. I wanna, I wanna see what it looks like before the, the sunlight disappears. It's 6 p.m. now, so I might have about half an hour. So we'll try and do this as fast as we can, and uh, yeah, we'll show you the final form, and you guys can let me know what you think to the to the wet look. We'll call this because uh, the tees are definitely a forever wheel. Um, but I'm really excited to see the Motegis on there as well. Uh, we've gone for a different width on the wheels and different tire size. So I've gone slightly wider wheels, slightly less width on the chunky tyres. So I'm looking forward to seeing that too. Let's stop talking, let's get stuck in. There we have it, the Motegi wheels fitted to the Civic. I think it looks freaking awesome. This is giving me major, major throwback vibes, man, from when I used to run black wheels on this car. Makes me feel 23 again. And uh, I think it looks mega. They fit really nice. I might even add a three mil spacer from what I normally run with the Volks on the front end of this, just to fill out that front arch a little bit more. Because we've got the wider wheels, these are 8J wheels instead of the seven and a half. I opted for a slightly smaller uh, sidewall tire instead of being big chunky ones, because I do not want to ruin the rear arches. This car's had a full restoration. For anyone that hasn't seen this car before, this has had a full exterior restoration done on it. Um, by Castleport Restorations. They've done an absolutely amazing job. Um, so I absolutely do not want to ruin the bodywork by any means. So the wheels look so good, especially from this angle. I think that might be my favorite, this back corner angle with them. I love the black wheels. I do need some tire shine. Can't deny that, does need some tire shine. I think it'd look way better with some tire shine. But overall, here we go, we now have wet track day tyres, which means if we're at a track and the weather starts raining, we can chuck some wheels on and carry on. If we get to a track and it's raining like it normally is in England, we can carry on. And hopefully you'll be able to come and check out the car on the Motegi stand if we can convince the guys to let us put the car on a stand at some shows. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, wow, man. It's been fun working on the little Civic again, even if it is just switching wheels around. I love this little car so much. I hope you guys still like it too. Um, I didn't realize that a lot of people forget that I have this thing because it doesn't get a huge amount of use um, But there it is. There is the Civic the Motegi wheels if you want a set of these as well as Some of you guys will know if you know me better more personally than just as the guy on YouTube I like to put my money where my mouth is and the products that we run I sell or the products I sell I run so you will know that on all of the products 95% of the stuff on all of my cars we can sell unless they're like really rare parts that I've picked up along my years of of modifying cars but yeah if you want to set sales at 621.com and we can hook you up I'll also give you a heads up you will need spigot rings for these and also some uh, thin lug nuts so internal drives or anything like that but that's just a heads up from me as your local friendly car parts dealer Civic looks freaking awesome on the new Motegi wheels I am stoked on these I think they look so good and I love that they come with a center cap that's so good. Look awesome too. Um, I love them. I've got some of the old 621 lugs on there because they were thin enough to fit. We don't sell those anymore. So yeah, the car. I'm going to have a little look at it soon. Check out that, that high idle. Can't really work out what that will be because we have done all of the cleaning, the uh, 
oil or control valve and all that recently as well. Just quickly for you guys too, Sylvia has got the m tiniest little jobs needing doing now. Uh, then it's going for MOT and then we can uh, we can have some fun on that again, take that to some shows and some meets if there's any going. E36, now I know I did a video on this a little while ago saying uh, that the project's about to begin. Well, the project halted quite fast, purely down to time and some other stuff I had going on off screen that we had to focus all my attention on. But now I've got a friend that might be able to help this at his unit so we can put that indoors, strip it down and really start to get to work, get it mechanically sound and ready for paint because I've got all the ideas for this now. I just need to order some bodywork panels and get this rest of this paint off and make it safe now. We've got loads of parts for it. So if you guys like car builds and you like modified cars and drifting and track days and all that sort of malarkey, make sure you hit subscribe. Stick around because the channel is about to pick up again this year and I'm very, very excited for it. We've got a lot of great stuff to come. We've got some awesome cars already on the channel that I hope you guys will like. And that's just not even including the M3 that we also have here. So we've got some cars, we've got some content to make and also, also, I'm very excited to say car features are back, which is what you should have seen first, actually. You should have seen Sully's GTI. So there's going to be plenty of awesome car content to come. I hope you guys will stick around with me for it. I'm going to try my absolute best to make this as entertaining as I can while we're doing it. If you guys have enjoyed the video. It's great to be back on YouTube, even though I imagine Low Origin are going to make more memes about my yow intros. I love those guys. They're great. Anyway, from me, oh, from me and from Finn, who's whinging at the gate, uh, we'll see you again in the next episode. Please make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed. Peace.